The update is finally here. This is a Babolat Pure Strike 98 18 by 20. Updated for 2024, this racket offers a dense string pattern and absolute precision off the string bed. Pair that with its stable feel and added technology to keep the racket soft and dampened at impact, experienced players will revel in this magic wand. A low RA pairs with FSI control and NF2 flax inserts that enhances ball feedback and leaves you in command of every ball you strike. It's always fun when I get to play test a couple different rackets in the family and for the strikes, I got to test the Pure Strike 97 as well as this 18 by 20 and I quickly found out that this string pattern in the sweet spot is super dense. It was very noticeable. This racket was very low powered for me, but I loved rallying and hitting with it. This was an awesome practice racket for me. It's probably one I should realistically play with in match situations. However, I do crave a little bit more free power from the racket. But in terms of feel, it felt amazing at impact. I felt very dialed in on my ground strokes. I was lacking power. I was lacking a little bit of spin on my serves, but that was to be expected for me. This is a really fun racket, again, to work on my precision and even building longer points. However, I always seem to lean into those rackets that do give me a little bit more power, but all in all, a really stable uh, racket and one that I can respect. I really enjoyed the solid feel of this Pure Strike 1820. I'm a big fan of 1820 string patterns and I felt right at home with this racket from the very first shot until we wrapped up the test today. And I'm just slicing through my backhand really nicely with it, I like the grip I'm getting in the ball. There's enough mass in the racket to help me drive through and knife that slice backhand too. So that was probably my favorite shot out of this one. I served well with it too. I like the mass on the serve coming through the ball and then that control from the dense string pattern really allowed me to go after my serve, stay aggressive on both the first and second serve, and be pretty consistent out there. Up at net, great feel on the ball, is really carving under my shots, and I think a lot of that just came from the solid response of this racket. Uh, it's got a nice crisp response, and I thought I could just point the string bed where I wanted the ball to go, and it got in and got out pretty quickly with a lot of control as well. Um, on my topspin shots, plenty of grip on the ball. For me, I'm a fan of these dense string beds, as I said before, so I was getting some nice rotation. And then when I flattened out my ground strokes, I felt like I could control the depth of the ball really well. So uh, easy one for me to step into this play test, uh, hit all the right boxes for me, and a really fun one to hit. I have always been a fan of the Pure Strike family of frames from, Vol uh, from Bobolot. This one here, out of all the new ones, is my favorite by a small margin. I like them all, but this one just seems to fit my game pretty well. I am a little challenged with a tight pattern. Lately, I've been testing out some 18 main patterns that offer a little bit more of a lift of the ball off there, slightly wider spacing. This one is tight, and I really like how the strings fill up the entire string bed. I would say it actually makes the sweet spot a little bit bigger, and it also adds swing weight and stability to the racket overall, so it really accomplishes a lot. I am a little challenged with tight patterns unless it has a thin, edgy string. As soon as that's paired with the racket, this I had no excuses with. Really keeps, uh, maintains the backhand slice, linear, low, and effective, but I was able to shape my shots with enough top spin to get net clearance and aiming for smaller targets. Uh, at first, when I started this play test, I was kind of aiming for one side or the other. Pretty soon, I was aiming for maybe doormat size targets on the court. So really love this racket. I would say overall, this would be the first time I've said that returning serve was my favorite shot to hit with this racket, or any racket for that matter, but that was it. All court masterpiece, uh, but I definitely favored on return of serve as much or more than I did from any other part of the court. I'm gonna pick up from the other play testers, um, but as soon as I hit with this racket, even in its stock form, I just had a really, really good time out on the court with it. Um, for being an 1820 string pattern and also looking at this and being very dense in the center, um, typically I would struggle with uh, sort of the launch angle and the spin potential because I typically play with a bit more open 1619, but uh, I really didn't have many issues from the baseline. Um, it was a bit lower of a launch angle than what I typically play with, but uh, it was very predictable at that. So really enjoyed this update of the strike. I remember going back to the original Pure Strike Tour, the very first one, uh, sort of the, the grayish and pink one. And uh, this one reminded me a lot of that, but I think the feel's a little bit cleaner. It's more predictable. 
Um, and I was also surprised for being on a slightly thicker beam 1820 compared to like a blade or maybe uh, slightly thicker than a TF40. Um, it still felt very comfortable and plush. So I felt like there was a good sweet spot could uh, swing you know, really freely from the baseline. I maybe was not getting quite as much spin potential on the serves right when I first started hitting them, but uh, really good on the flat serve. And I just really, really love this racket on the backhand slice. And when I came to net, it just felt very predictable. I could put the ball just about anywhere I wanted to, and I love the built-in stability. I never really had to think about the racket fluttering. So all in all, I really like the uh, clean and simple cosmetic update, and it might be my one of my favorite 1820s on the market right now. We tried this racket with a variety of different string types, but for the review today, we have Babolat RPM Blast and RPM Hurricane in the 17 gauge, and we strung them down a bit at 48 and 50 pounds. For more information on this racket or anything else tennis related, be sure to head to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.